Hey YouTube, this is going to be a video. I'm going to keep this as brief as possible. I have recorded this video a few times. I keep talking too much. I just want to keep it really simple so you get some basic understanding as a new reseller on how to activate a new IPTV service for a customer. Even if you've never um, used IPTV before, this can help you understand a little bit. I'm going to keep this as basic as possible. To keep this within our scope, I've made some guidelines of what we're going to talk about. A, how to navigate the reseller panel. That's the interface on how you manage your customers, activate, deactivate, edit, whatever. Next, we're going to learn how to activate a mag device. That's with a MAC address. We're then going to look at how to activate an M3U playlist URL. Not going to get into any more than that. Let's jump right into it. Once you have your username and password, you need to go and log in at the website login.ok2.se. This is the login page for OK2 administrator panel, your reseller panel. You're going to type in your username and password, and you're going to do the CAPTCHA. Now we're in our back end of our customer management as an IPTV reseller. Briefly, I'll say I have eight credits in my panel here. One credit per month. We'll watch as it goes down when we activate a service. First, I'm going to activate a mag device. This is the navigation sidebar. The third section are mag devices. We have three options here. Add a new mag device. Extend an existing mag device, add months of service to either an, an ongoing service or an expired service. And then we can manage the existing mag devices. Let's create a new device, add a new mag device. Right here, we need first the MAC address. This is what the customer provides, whether they have a box or whether they have um, an STB emulator they are going to give the virtual MAC address. This always starts with 001A79. Let's get that before we move on. I have my virtual um, STB emulator program open here. I'm gonna go into the settings, profile settings. I'm gonna catch the STB configuration of my profile. I'm going to select all of the MAC address and copy it or write it down if, if you don't have access to it or have your customer send it to you, whatever. And I'm going to paste it here so I don't make any mistakes. Easy like that. That is the MAC address. As you can see, it always starts with 001A79. Make no mistake. There is an exception, um, but it's so uh, infrequently found. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Select package to assign to this line. This is going to be the number of months we assign. I'm going to assign one month full. Full meaning all the channels. Once you click it, there's going to be some time delay because it's going to populate two new sections that weren't there before. This package contains what? This just verifies that it is the full package. You don't have any other options, so it can be ignored. Select the line type. This is to confirm you have one month service you're going to add, and then it's going to cost you one credit. Okay. You click that, and then in the notes, you could put your customer information and the whatever that you feel will help you remember your customer and how to contact them if there's any kind of need to correspond that's it we have the mac address we have how many months we've confirmed that we have some details for our reference once we're satisfied, we create a new line. And then we get a confirmation by device added. Beyond this, you're done. As a reseller, all the customer has to do is to input the portal URL. So I'm going to show you how to do that, considering this is for noobs. We're going to the settings in the STBMU. We're going to the portal settings. We're going to change the portal URL. There's just one parameter that we're going to change. I'm going to select all, erase it. 
I'm going to put in the portal URL for OK2, in this case, HTTP, colon slash slash OK2.sc, colon 8000 slash C. That's it. Then we go OK. Then we can return here, and I'm going to very quickly verify that the service has been activated here. I'm going to reload portal. And then once you see this bar and it fills up, that means that the channel is loading. So that basically covers how to activate a service for um, a Mac device, how to activate a Mac address. Um, this is how um, SDDME would look, I suppose. I may as well. Click on a channel and show you the example here. Gives you a preview on the side. Click again and it opens. It gives you a little uh, electronic programming guide below the channel here, and you can go to a further program guide like that. Okay, so that's how to activate a mag device, how to activate a Mac address. We're going to jump into how to activate an M3U playlist URL. Okay, so um, this is for um, um, any other application, uh, whether it's your smart TV, your smartphone, your Apple TV, that doesn't use a MAC address as an activation. So in the MAC address case, for example, very quickly, I'll do refresher. There's two things that are important. To you, you need the MAC address of the customer. The customer needs the portal URL. Those are the two important things. When it comes to an M3U playlist, all the customer needs is the portal URL. You don't necessarily need anything. You could just create a portal URL. So we're going to do that in the streaming line section. So if I want to create a new M3U playlist, we're going to go create new line. Here it asks for a username and password. I'm going to create a username so I can reference my customer. I would typically put the name of my customer or my customer's email. Here I'm just going to put trial 01 as an example. Password I'm going to leave blank as it will be auto-generated by random characters here. Again, similarly, I'm going to select a package, click one month full. As in the mag devices, it's going to populate two new sections. One is going to display the channel lists here, and the second will be the select a line type to confirm that one month is one credit and it'll be deducted from your stash of credits above. In the notes, I'm going to put is the trial 01, and this is for purposes of, I'm not here to teach you how to spell. So we have trial as the username, and this will password will be auto-generated. We'll go create a new line since I'm satisfied with the information that I've input. And I get a confirmation with user added. In this case, we need to retrieve that M3 playlist. How do we do that? We will go into manage lines over here. Here I have a couple of active services. These are all of my customers that will appear in manage lines. The most recent one I did is trial one. I'm going to go download. I'm going to click here in the drop-down menu. Here I have M3U, but I don't want M3U. I want M3U with options. The reason being is that this M3U with options groups the channels uh, in categories of English, French, uh, you know, Arabic, adult, sports, etc. So I clicked on the middle one default under M3U with options. You'd have to scroll down part of the way through the list to find it. I'm going to highlight the URL it's populated here, and I'm going to copy it. This is what I'm going to send to the customer as the M3 playlist to URL. Before I move on, I'm going to very quickly point out that within the M3 playlist URL, there is the username and password. This is what you would use in the application, for example, um, the OK2 app itself. You would just use the username here and the password there. Select all and copy the user, the M3 playlist URL, and I'm going to do a test in the VLC Media Player. In order to use the M3 playlist URL in VLC Media Player, you go to Media in the top navigation bar, open Network Stream, and place the M3 playlist URL here. We click Play, and we wait for a little bit. 
once that loads, I actually already have it loaded here. You're going to start watching TV. In the playlist section here, you could you can see I click this button, with the three lines in the playlist play button there. This is all of the channels here, and all however many seventy thousand uh, lists of shows, video on demand, and live TV channels are going to populate here. You can use the search box on the top to quickly find what you need. Like that. So that's it. I don't want to talk about anything more lest I overload your brains. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. And uh, thumbs up if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this. Ciao.